I'm Duncan McKellar. Uh, I've, I started Armacoat over 25 years ago. Uh, we started in, in making plaster for squash courts, but quickly became uh, synonymous with polished plaster and plaster finishes um, that we pioneered and have, have continued to develop uh, over the last two and a half decades. The most common substrate for our plaster for interior is plasterboard. Uh, it's a very, it just works very well. It it's, makes for quick construction, gives you an inherently flat surface. Um, it's resistant to cracking. Um, so that tends to work very well. A very interesting uh, you know, aspect of, of design trends at the moment is the play on texture more than color. You tend to get um, that the color palette at the moment tends to be neutrals, browns and, and variations on greys with the occasional splash of colour but the, 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 the splashes of colour don't tend to come from the wall finishes they tend to come from accent pieces. We can create almost any colour that a client may require and we have two ways of creating the colour. For the light neutral colours we can often create colours by using the natural minerals or the different coloured marbles and combining them. Um, if we want richer, deeper colours, we will add natural earth pigments. These will be iron oxide uh, or, or general natural earth pigments which are added to the plaster and will give you a, a huge range of, of colours. One of the beauties of plaster finishes is that they can be applied to both flat and curved surfaces. Um, and when you create a, a polished stone surface onto a curve, it really helps, you know, it, it brings out a lot of the the um, qualities of the material because you see the reflection in the curvature of the surface. It's very popular to have these polished plaster finishes onto columns. Uh, I mean, it really stands out and, and it's a very nice cladding. It gives the feel of a single piece of monolithic stone on a column um, without the, the cost or, or the huge weight of making an entire stone column. We've seen a, a huge expansion recently um, in the sort of high-end luxury residential sector. Um, it's grown from probably 10 or 15 percent of our turnover, our contracting turnover, to somewhere north of 40 percent. And um, there's so much demand for, or there's so much interest in the sort of super luxury residential market in London. Um, it's become a very important market for us. We tend to work for the very uh, high-end house builders that are not uh, involved in mass construction. They tend to be involved in, in a relatively small number of super luxury residences. Um, often, some are speculative, but most have a, a specific client. And, um, and it's, yeah, it's, that tends to be that super luxury end of the market. There is a certain amount of science um, involved. Um, but it's a, it's a combination of, of science and artistic um, qualities that make these materials. Um, it's, in, it's important to be able to formulate the products so that they work well, and that comes from a combination of a scientific understanding and a feel for using the materials and a sense of the artistic purpose to which they are put to.